Yo what's up guys, this is Alias and in this video I will show you how to make this cool holographic effect from just, yeah, one footage and it's really simple so I'd say let's go. So just select our footage and let's make a new composition from the selection so we have it right here and then make sure to double click the footage so you get into this layer tab so not the composition but the layer tab and now you can select this tool on the left corner the roto brush tool and what this does you can just select something and it will automatically mask the object so in our case this human so let's just yeah go around a bit and as you can see it does a really good job at masking things out automatically this is too much, but yeah, like this. Just make sure everything is covered, but yeah, not too much. And if you press Alt on your keyboard, you can see the, the dot turns red, and this just means that it removes some area. So if something is, goes too wide on the outside, you can just yeah press Alt and then just remove it again, just like this. Oh, we forgot the ear, that's no problem. This small part, and yeah, now it seems like we almost got everything. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, because of course, yeah, the holographic effect always comes with some glitches. Um, but yeah, just press freeze on this tab, and just wait until it, yeah, renders out all frames. Okay, nice, now it's done, so we can go back to our composition and as we can see, it's yeah cut out from the background and yeah, it all, almost works good, but as I said, we also will add some glitches, so yeah, these small mistakes won't bother us that much, but yeah, let's just turn yeah the background to black for a few seconds until we can add uh, a real footage background, but let's first do the holographic effect. So, go to the yeah, effects tab and let's search for Venetian lines and just apply it. And then turn up the transition completion a bit, the direction to 90. And we can also play with this setting. And yeah, this just gives us these nice fine lines which I think look good then we can also add a tritone effect and give it some light blue okay not too light but yeah something something like this and maybe let's yeah play with this a bit more let's even add some more of these like this and we can also press T for transparency or opacity and just turn down the yeah the opacity a bit so it will be a little trans a bit transparent and we will see the difference when we add some background footage but this is quite important and um, now as you have seen it also has this nice glitch effect which we can also do real quick so for this add a new solid press OK and add some fractal noise effect. So just add this and we have to change a few settings. So change the fractal type from yeah basic to dynamic and the noise type to block and then go to transform and remove the uniform scaling tick and just scale up the, the width a lot. So in my case like something like 2000 or 1600 like this and also turn up the contrast to something like 300 like this and let's animate this real quick. So put a keyframe at evolution at the beginning and then go forward and yeah, create another keyframe and just put something like 10 in here. So this just moves a bit like this and this will be like 
yeah, we will use this for our glitch effect. But first of all, let's press right click on this layer and press pre-compose and make sure this setting is selected and not this one. So this one and the, the tick and then just press OK. And now we can hide this and go back to our yeah human hologram effect layer and search for this placement map right here. And now we can select this yeah pre-composed thing as the displacement map layer like this. And now as you can see we have a nice yeah a nice displacement effect. We can I like to turn this down the vertical displacement but leave this at like the, something like 5 or or 10 something quite low not too much maybe 15 and now we have this constant effect okay this is a bit too much maybe so let's just yeah turn this down to 7 maybe like this and yeah this looks cool we can also animate the glitch a bit so maybe we can just put in a keyframe here then go forward a bit make the value quite high like 33 go forward a bit and bring it down to 7 and now we got some yeah random glitch effects which we can just put in anywhere so let's do it again maybe open this create a keyframe go forward a bit put in a high value go forward a bit and put it back to the original value and now we have just these small spikes in this placement which I think look really cool and okay yeah, as you can see here's a little error but this would be easy to mask out but let's don't do this in this tutorial because it's easy but it just takes some time um, we can also add some, some glow effects maybe which will first look a bit too much but yeah turn up the radius to something like 100 maybe the intensity to something like 0.1 so it's not that strong like this yeah I think this this looks good you can also add a brightness and contrast effect of course and yeah increase the contrast or the brightness however you like just like this and yeah this looks cool I just added um, a different footage for the background than the original footage because I think this looks more cool and to adjust this we can also add a tri tone effect and just give it a similar color to the like the hologram effect so it will blend in a bit better like this and yeah that's it basically it's really simple and of course you can do it better if you yeah, mask this out a bit more cleaner or whatever or yeah do whatever you like but I think this is yeah a nice easy holographic effect which is good for beginners and yeah that's it basically thanks for watching